It's Conduit News Radio with Paul Harrell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the program. Thanks so much for being with us today. Um, this is Conduit News Radio. And uh, I just want to uh, take the time to introduce you to Michael Quinn Sullivan. Uh, he's uh, on the line with us. I actually think we have video of him. He's a fifth-generation Texan. Uh, he is the president and CEO of Empower Texans. Michael, welcome to Conduit News Radio. Thanks for being with us. Hey, Paul. Great. Thanks. I appreciate the chance to be with you today. There we go. Hang on one second. Um, I think it's, I think we're having trouble getting you, Michael. Uh, can Can you hear us? I can hear, I can you, just hear you just fine. All right, there we go. We have you. We have you on the program now. All right, so uh, it says here, the Fort, the Fort, I'm reading from Empower Texans' website, the Fort Worth Star-Telegram said Sullivan slays taxpayer dragons in Austin. Uh, when the heat is on in Austin, Michael Quinn Sullivan knows how to make it even hotter. Texas, Texas Monthly dubbed him the enforcer on their list of the 25 most influential Texans. The Dallas Morning News has called him the state's most influential unelected Republican. Uh, how do you respond to that? That's a, that's a, those are very big compliments, in my opinion, sir. Yeah. Uh, they're either compliments or they're kind of the, uh, you know, the old uh, saying, you know, of those whom the gods seek to destroy, they first, uh, you know, first praise. Um, um, I think that it's uh, it's always nice when your enemies um, want to uh, want to uh, talk about how powerful you are. What I tell my staff is, you know, when when people are complaining that you know we're too big, too powerful, just shut up and let them finish speaking. Is kind of our uh, kind of our approach. Yeah, yeah, I I think uh, that's a that's a really good. Can 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 you tell us a little bit about your organization, Empower Texans? Uh, and what you guys hope to accomplish. I see some great things here the, the, on the About page. The greatest threat to our state's economic growth and competitive, competitiveness is the weight of government on the economy. I completely agree. Yeah, so you know, our organization takes the, you know, take, takes the, the, the tact that most of government is improved when we have more people involved and more people engaged. And unfortunately, a whole lot of our modern system of government, you know, I, you know, listening to the to the intro a second ago with Ronald Reagan talking about having a place for self-governance, um, you know, that's absolutely true. Uh, the United States, the state of Texas, the state of Arkansas, you know, we were all designed to be these laboratories of experimentation on the simple question, can people govern themselves and not by some distant ruler, as, as Reagan put it. Uh, th that remains to be as true today as it was in the 1980s as in the 1780s. Um, and at Empower Texans, we seek to try to amplify that, to make that more real. Um, you know, whether you're talking about cronyism, um, where it's a very small number of legislators and bureaucrats who decide um, what rich corporation from somewhere else is going to get your money. Um, that doesn't happen when you have a lot of people watching. Those kind of decisions only happen in the, in the back rooms. Um, you just go down the line of all the decisions, all the bad decisions uh, that are made in government. Uh, those get improved when you have more citizens involved in paying attention. So that's what we try to do. We try to give citizens more opportunities to see what their government is doing and to participate um, in government at the at the uh, at the federal level a little bit, but much more importantly at those uh, levels of government that are more impactful to citizens, which is at the state and the local level. You know, as conservatives, um, I get so frustrated when I know that most of my conservative friends can tell you the names of prime ministers of countries that you know I, I couldn't find on a map if you paid me. Um, but yet they don't know who their city council members are, their school board members are, their county sheriff. And those are people who can really impact your life. Um, we need to be bringing our principles to bear um, at all levels of government, not just the uh, the sexy ones that get you on Fox News. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a really good point. Uh, we're talking with Michael Quinn Sullivan. The organization is Empower Texans. You can go to EmpowerTexans.com. 
and find out more about this great organization. This is kind of part of a series, Michael. We've talked to people uh, who run organizations in Pennsylvania, in uh, in Virginia, and now we're, we're looking at Texas. And we're trying to do this as a way to encourage the grassroots activists here in Arkansas because we are a big government state, even though we, we've just kind of gone, uh, you know, to the Republican side of things. Uh, and I, so I would ask you what I've asked them. What about the backlash that you guys get when you guys try to educate the citizenry about maybe somebody who claims to be a limited government conservative? Uh, what kind of backlash can you get when when their voting record doesn't match their campaign rhetoric? <laughs> oh, it's it, it's glorious uh, when, when when those folks react because it's never good. Uh, I've had uh, uh, private investigators tail my children. Uh, we've had death threats. We've had, uh, you know, people threatening, you know, calling up donors and threatening them, people, or at least people they think are donors. Um, you know, so so these guys all respond um, the, the way the emperor responded when the kid said, hey, you're not wearing any clothes. Um, but you know, that's the challenge is, um, is, is finding folks, and I'm very blessed to have a fantastic staff and fantastic donor base um, uh, who are uh, committed to exposing the delta between what politicians say at home and what they do when they're in office. Um, you know, ideally, you know, there is no sunlight between what is said and what is done. Um, but unfortunately, um, and, and it seems to be particularly on the Republican side, where we see these guys who want to campaign as the second coming of Ronald Reagan, and yet when they get into office, they, they legislate like Walter Mondale. Um, we have to put a stop to that. It's not fair to the voter. The voters are being lied to. Um, and, you know, and, and again, they don't respond well. The, um, the elected officials don't respond well. You know, we, we try to keep things focused entirely on uh, the objective voting record and say, look, here, here's how they voted. Explain the vote. Well, it's, it's often funny, the politician will turn to, oh, no, no, don't look at my voting record. Look at the things that I've, I've done. I've coached Little League. I've, you know, mow my lawn nicely, whatever all it might be. They don't want to talk about their voting records, which is what tells us we need to talk a lot more even about their voting records. No, that's exactly right. Uh, we're talking with Michael Quinn Sullivan again. It's Empower Texans. Now, he's a former newspaper reporter, uh, and I'd love to, for you to tell us about your experience and how, how does that shape what you do in Texas, but also a Capitol Hill staffer, you, a think tank uh, vice president, also an Eagle Scout, a graduate from Texas A&M University. Um, and so tell Which us- may not get me any love in Arkansas, hey, depending you on know, where we are in the calendar. Yeah, of course, of course, of course not. But still, you know, it, it's a it is a great university. And so, tell us just a little bit about uh, 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 you know how you're how what you've seen in D.C. And a lot of times, what we get here locally is well, you know, Arkansas is a small state. We're not like Washington D.C. In fact, we're exactly like Washington D.C. Uh, because and it's al almost worse because less people know about it. Like you said, the sexy Fox News issues versus you know knowing your city councilor, knowing your state rep or your state senator, and what the issues are. Yeah, look, I mean, um, we, we Texans excel at marketing. Uh, we have marketed our state better than anyone else. You know, we are the conservative nirvana. We are the, you know, you know a, t take your favorite adjective and apply it to something good about conservatism. And that's what we in Texas say we are. Um, and I would suggest that a lot of what we have uh, done as Texans, you know, we have marketed ourselves as this conservative. And in some ways, we've kind of deceived ourselves into believing that we're this very conservative state. And yet, you know, when, when you peel back just, you know, the, the, the veneer of the marketing brochure, um, we've got a lot of problems in, in, our, in our government, both the state and local levels. Texas has the fourth highest uh, debt per capita in the nation. Um, we have um, in the top 15% uh, property tax burdens. Um, you know, so the, the, the idea that Texas is somehow doing things right as in, and uh, DC is doing things wrong um, is, is a misnomer because they're both doing a lot of things wrong. Mm -hmm. They're just doing different things wrong, I guess. Um, you know, when I talk about where we are as Texans, uh, we are often uh, kind of like the guy who's the least drunk guy at the bar, but yet wants to be held up as a model of sobriety. Um, Texans should not be content 
with simply being better off than California um, or looking better than, than Louisiana. I mean, I think Arkansas and Texas can both agree. It's not hard to look better than Louisiana many days. <laughs> this um, is true. <laughs> I'm going to get my, my Cajun friends are going to be very upset with me. Um, but, you know, but, but that's how we end up talking about ourselves. And that's not right. And we should be talking about ourselves and the way, you know, the way, way mom said to talk about yourself. You know, are you doing the best you can do? Are you the best you can be? You know, those are the measures that we should be, uh, should be striving for, not just, you know, going to bed each night praying that uh, Jerry Brown continues to drive California off the off the cliff. Um, when, when we look at Washington, D.C., um, a lot of things that we're looking at there is how much is our congressional delegation um, working to uh, to free Texas from onerous regulations? How much are they working uh, to, to let Texans govern Texas? That's that, that's kind of how we approach looking at the uh, at the federal government, um, and 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 then ask questions of our legislators. Hey, are you going to be able to govern Texas? You know, when when you don't have the excuse of the EPA and you know, Obama IRS employees or wh whatever the excuse de jour is, um, you know, are, are you going to man up and do what you promised to do when you were campaigning? That's that's you know, that becomes the tension. Yeah, it's really it's encouraging that we have other states that are having the same problems that we're having. Um, I, I want to ask you, though, about uh, people moving to Texas and not changing their voting habits. They're moving to Texas because it's prosperous. OK, we, yeah. we have this a little bit in northwest Arkansas. We have we have Bentonville, which is the global headquarters for Walmart. And so it attracts a lot of people from a lot of areas who have, uh, quite frankly, maybe more. Uh, liberal, bigger government tendencies, and you can kind of start to see things change there. And so I'm wondering what your thoughts are on people moving to Texas because it, it is a, more prosperous than maybe northern states, but are they going to realize why the states they, they left were because they were voting for people who just wanted more and more government? Yeah, so I, I, I put on my, uh, my my cheating reading glasses here because I, I literally just printed off a, uh, a report this morning uh, from the Dallas Federal Reserve, um, and the, the it's actually a pretty fascinating report called Gone to Texas, Migration Vital to Growth in the Lone Star State. Um, I was trying to find a chart that had a little bit of what you're pointing to, but can't find it fast enough. But the um, when we're uh, looking at, at, at the inflow, what we're finding is, is probably half of the people who are moving here get it. They understand that they left California. Um, they, they were so we got a freeze. Uh, I think we've lost a connection with Michael a little bit. Um, let's see. I don't know if we can get him back or not. Uh, it may it may kind of come back here in just a moment, uh, Michael. So if you can still hear us, if you'll just if you'll just hang back, uh, and we'll let you finish your thought there. But uh, fascinating interview, uh, folks. The 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 it's Empower Texans. That's the organization. EmpowerTexans.com. The reason we wanted to highlight and have uh, Mr. Sullivan on is, and these uh, we've had other people on from other states that are involved in the, in similar work that Conduit is involved in, and so when you when you see these Republican politicians get upset, you hear in most all of these states that we talk to, what they do is they try to go after donors. Uh, we've people had the uh, from uh, California or New York. Are we back? Are we back? Okay, uh, Michael, can you hear me? We oh. uh, we we lost you in mid sentence. Uh, talking well, then, about then you about, lost me at probably the right time to lose me. The, no, okay. Well, so uh, we'll we'll, we'll kind of wrap things up here, um, and I apologize, but but uh, just w what what would you say to the grassroots out there in Arkansas who who can get kind of discouraged because of uh, the lack of change and people have been voting for conservatism for a long time in Arkansas? It seems now, and yet we keep getting excuses as to why limited government can't work. Uh, what would you say to all those folks out there listening? Well, you know, first, you know, buck up. It's not as bad as it could be. Um, two, um, th that should be a, be your excuse to being more engaged. Um, just because things haven't changed yet, just because things haven't been fixed yet, doesn't mean they're not going to be. You know, we didn't get into our problems overnight, and we're not going to get out of them overnight. 
we have to be committed as conservatives to the long game. We have to be, uh, you have to be, um, you know, as you know, the, my parents' generation, you know, the, the flower children are down with the struggle or whatever. You know, we have to do likewise. We have to be willing uh, to, uh, to keep fighting, to keep pressing on. Um, you know, Texas needs a strong Arkansas. Arkansas needs a strong Texas, you know, that, you know the competition there. Um, we shouldn't be in a race to the bottom. We should be in a race to see who can you know, have the, the greatest expression of self-governance, who can have the greatest amounts of, of liberty. Um, you know, none of us um, should, uh, uh, should think of ourselves as, as living, on, living on islands. You know, we can steal best practices from each other. Um, I think what, what Conduit for Action is doing is you know, my, my team and I have been reading up on all the stuff you guys have been doing. You know, there are things y'all are doing that we need to import and, you know, and, and vice versa. Um, but that's where, you know, we need to develop that community, that sense of uh, we're all in this fight together. Um, the, the other side does that. The other side has that esprit de corps. Um, and that's why I think that, um, that, that we sometimes feel like they're winning and we're not. Um, in fact, we've got the truth on our side. Uh, we're not called to be successful. We're called to be faithful. And um, I would suggest to you that there is no better political cause to be faithful to than the cause of liberty and self-governance. Wow, that's very well put. Uh, Michael Quinn Sullivan, I appreciate it, sir. Thanks so much for coming on the program. It's great to meet you, and I'd love to do this again soon. I'd love to be able to Absolutely. use thank your you. wisdom. Yes, thank you, sir. Be safe. Have a great morning, folks. We're going to take a break. The website, again, empowertexans.com. Check them out. Uh, they are doing a lot of work that's or all their work's great, but they're doing a lot of things that we're trying to do here in Arkansas, exposing the truth, holding people accountable. We got to take a break, folks. Don't go anywhere back in just a moment.